What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to be doing quite a few things like, you know, uh, doing some extra stuff that you can actually find after the, the whole Pokemon League challenge is done. Now, the first thing we're doing right here is we're in Moss Deep City, and uh, after, you know, after defeating the, the Pokemon Champion, you can actually go to Steven Stone's house right here, and he'll have a little surprise for you. So, if you go read this, it's a letter. To Draven. I've decided to do a little soul searching and, and train on the road. I don't plan to return home for some time. I have a favor to ask of you. I want you to take that Pokeball on the desk. Inside, it's a Beldum, my favorite Pokemon. I'm counting on you. May our paths cross again someday. Steven Stone. Now, in Pokemon Ruby or Zapfire, it actually does make sense that he do like that he puts uh, he puts the letter right here. But in Pokemon Emerald, we don't even beat him. I don't even know. Uh, we probably should have done something de different. Now, if you do have an empty slot on your team, you can actually get this Pokemon right here. It is a Beldum. A very, very rare Pokemon. Oh my god. It's a Pokemon that, you know, everybody would love to have on their team early on, but unfortunately that's not the case right here. As you can see, Beldum is both a Steel and Psychic type Pokemon. It has a clear body effect right there. As you can see, its stats are pretty, you know, are, are pretty rounded, pretty well. And uh, the only move that it knows right now is Takedown, which is kind of, you know, it kind of sucks because it's like, what, 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 seriously, like, you know, you know, it takes recoil. Kind of sucks. So that's, that's mission number one right there. Now the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to go straight to, let's see, Lava Ridge Town? City? I don't know. So let's go ahead and fly. There was a little something there waiting for us. You know, it's been a, it's been a while since we got a fossil. Now it's time to go get another fossil. Believe it or not, I did mention this when we went and got our fossil at the first uh, part. Now, all you need to do right here is actually go to the Fossil Maniacs uh, house right here. And they actually added a little bit more to this whole house right here. As you can see, if you take your Pokemon, uh, if you make your Pokemon dig inside a cave, you'll return to, uh, to the entrance, which is cool. Now, early on, we go right here, and this guy is just digging. As you can see, it's gotten a little bit larger, and there's a hole right there. Now... This guy's like, oh, it's not safe that way. I was digging away, and you see, when the hole collapsed, I think there was a giant cavern underneath now. But I've left it alone because I don't want to think there are any fossils there. Well, you thought wrong. You thought wrong. So as you can see, we are in the desert underpass, and uh, this place is famous for having one Pokemon in particular. Look at that. That Pokemon, a Ditto. Oh, yeah. We all know, we all know what Ditto does. So, I'm going to try and capture it. Do not make it faint. Skyblade, if you make it faint, I swear to God, I'm going to rake, I'm gonna melt you. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to melt you. And, uh, actually, you know what? I'm probably going to be... You know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to use Pikachu right here. Sparky. Now, there's a reason why I have all these Pokemon on my team. You know, I'm doing this all in one episode. It's leading up to the big episodes that we're going to be, you know, going through right here. So here we go, another Ditto. And this guy's at level 42, so we got to be careful for this guy. And uh, let's go with a Thunder Wave. Oh, wow. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so uh, we're going to run away because that's bad. That is usually bad. Now, just move on forward. Of course, we're going to be getting attacked by a bunch of dittos and uh, this guy right here this loud dread oh my god you are loud full of dread judge dread you guys remember judge dread it's a pretty cool uh, comic book too bad about the movies you know Sylvester Stallone and the other one yeah pretty bad now this actually takes a while as you can see you're gonna start seeing sand and uh, wow come on let it be a ditto nope it's a whismer it's a Whismer. Whismer, you suck. Here we go, Sparky the Spark Flug. And uh, we're just gonna keep on going forward right here. As you can see, once you start seeing the sand, you start noticing that we're going under the desert right here. And uh, crud, okay, so here we go, ditto right here. Now we know that we can't paralyze it. So, let's go right ahead and use Thunderbolt. Yeah, Thunderbolt for the win. And, uh, oh crud, okay. So now, we're going to use Quick Attack right here. Try and beat it. Oh, and I get paralyzed, but this guy doesn't. Uh, okay, and there's that Dig Attack. So now, 
Yeah, it dug a hole. So I'm gonna be switching it up right here because I don't want I don't want Pikachu getting fainted or anything. I really don't. I care about my Pokemon. Draven cares, and uh, that dig attack does not work on us. So let's go right ahead and capture this guy because eventually we'll eh, we might use him for different things. I don't know. Breeding purposes. I don't know. It may uh, have multiple partners or whatnot. I don't know. And there we go. We captured this ditto. Yes. My God. That was a lot of Pokemon right there. A ditto, a ditto rearranges its cell structure to transform itself. However, if it tries to get a change base uh, on its memory, it will get the details wrong. Okay, so it doesn't really have that many brain cells, so it makes makes a lot of sense right there. So let's go right ahead and uh, start using repels, because I really, I really don't want to get attacked by any more of these Pokemon. It's the reason why I didn't use the repels in the first place. So let's move on forward right here, and as you can see, if you guys remembered, back in the uh, Mirage Tower, I think that's what it was called, we got ourselves the first, uh, one of the uh, fossils that we found, the, the Claw Fossil or the Root Fossil. If I remember correctly, I got the Claw Fossil, and I said, don't worry, we'll eventually see this fossil again, and in Pokemon Emerald, you are able to actually get both fossils, so that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get both of these fossils right here. Now... If you don't mind, I'm going to use Dig because I want to get the heck out of here. There we go. Taking that kid's, uh, yeah, I'm taking that kid's, uh, whatchamacallit, his, uh, what was it, his advice to heart right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go straight to Rust Bros City, and uh, we're going to do a little something right there. You know, it's been a while. You know, I'm going to go there, talk to a few people, be cool, you know. It's been a while since we've been here, too. It's been a while since I could something 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 something. It's been a while since I first saw you. Yeah. <laughs> Not much of a singer right there, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these two Pokemon back. I need these both uh, both these bases because we're gonna actually revive these Pokemon now. And uh, let's see. Let's go straight up to the. Uh, Let's go straight to the uh, Silf, or not the Silf, the Devon Corporation right here. Now, if you may remember, there is a person right here that's actually working on a method to uh, revive fossilized Pokemon, and he is right here somehow. I think it's this guy? Uh, Resurrect Poke. Yes, this is the guy, and he sees that we have both fossils right there, so I'm actually going to use, I'm actually going to revive both, so let's just pick both, or one at a time. And uh, what you need to do is you actually have to. Yeah, you have to step outside and then go back in. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to step outside. I'm going to go get this. And I'm going to go back up because that's cool. going to get my Pokemon because it's a fossilized Pokemon. I'm in a singing mood. Here we go. Thanks for waiting. Your fossilized Pokemon has been brought back to life. The fossil was an ancient Pokemon, Anorith. It was. So we got ourselves Anorith, a pretty cool Pokemon. Very popular with some of the people that want to get the fossilized Pokemon, and I don't want to nickname him. And well, this guy tells me the same shit all over again, and I'm gonna give him uh, my I'm gonna give him my fossil uh, my fossil yet again right here. And uh, we're gonna go back outside and just do the same thing over and over again. So let's go, let's do it right here on ESPN. I, I can imitate that guy on ESPN. You know, he has a really raspy voice really raspy that's right okay so go ahead right here talk to this guy and he's gonna be like the ancient Pokemon was Lilip 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 okay so that's a pretty cool Pokemon name so let's go ahead and check out our two new Pokemon they're both at level 20 one is a rock and bug type Pokemon it has battle armor which blocks critical hits it's a naive nature and as you can see its stats are pretty good its best stats are its attack and speed which is kind of funny for me because I thought it, it, it would have been a little bit slower and as you can see it has scratch hardened mud uh, sport and water gun now if you go straight to Lilip right here it's both a rock and grass type Pokemon it has suction cups and it what it basically is it firmly anchors the body I don't know what that means so if you guys do know what that means comment down below sassy nature as always and it's stats right here it, well it's a very slow Pokemon it's special defense is pretty good uh, 
pretty even on both the special attack and the defense and attack physical attack not really good at that and uh, it only has three moves astonish constrict and acid so that's a uh, that's pretty good right there I guess I don't know all right so that's one thing that we needed to do now we're gonna be moving on to the next thing okay uh, let's see if we can actually Let's see if we can actually find it. So here we go to the match calls. As you probably remember, you actually can battle the gym leaders yet again. And uh, it looks like we're not... Yeah, it looks like none of these guys want to battle us right now. Huh. Okay, so once you get one of these squares right here, those squares, you can actually go battle the Pokemon trainer yet again. Unfortunately, these uh, Pokemon gym leaders don't want to battle us again. So, uh, you know what? Screw them. Maybe next time. I don't know. Okay, so that's it for that. And if I remember correctly, I need my Pikachu back. So let's go back and uh, do this whole thing again. All right, let's go right ahead and uh, do our thing right here. So we need Pikachu. There's a good reason for that guy. Switch him out for uh, Lilip. And uh, you know what? I want to bring in Beldum because I kind of want to train him up a little. You know, I have a soft spot for that Pokemon right there. And, uh, okay, so let's see. If I remember correctly, let's see. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember all the things that I needed to do. And I think the next one right here is we're going to go straight to Pacific Log Town because we're actually going to start the whole process of the legendary Pokemon. So let's go straight to uh, Pacific Log Town. And hopefully, maybe, hopefully, uh, we'll get lucky on the first try. And uh, I don't think we used up the repel so quickly yet. So let's go straight down here. And if you guys remember, we went straight to this route right here, Route 132. And we battled a bunch of trainers. Now, if you may have recalled, we actually uh, found a, a secret area right there. And if, you know, I, I need to go to, well, I, I need to get this right the first time. Uh, I actually mentioned that yeah, you will be able to find something pretty interesting in that in that specific area now I think I've already battled all these trainers. I can't remember If I didn't then oh crud. Oh crud. I messed up. I messed up. Oh Jesus. Did I mess up? Okay, so I kind of did mess up and this tentacle is at level 7 Huh, okay, so I used up the max repel right here Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna use Max Repel because I don't want to battle anybody right now. All right, Max Repel, like Axe, Body Spray, and uh, I'm gonna go down here. Okay, so I guess I didn't do the. I guess I didn't mess up. So let's see if. I think if you go down, or well, if you go straight right here in this area. Oh, messed up! I messed up. Okay, so I gotta go back. Trust me, guys. It is a frustrating process right here. If you don't get this whole thing right. So we're going back to Pacific Log Town. And uh, we're going to be taking care of this business right here. Okay, so let's go. Swamp Lord, let's do this again. Let's not mess up this time, okay? All right, swimming, swimming, swimming. Going down. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Okay, going down right here. Of course, it's making us go down the middle. I'm going to go down here because I, don't, I really don't want to battle anybody. I'm pretty sure I battled everybody here. Could be wrong. I'm gonna go down downstairs and uh, let's see. That's right. We're going downstairs right here. And I think I've already. Oh crud! I don't. I didn't battle these guys. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't battle everybody. So I guess we have an, an impromptu battle. I guess. And we got Speedo Torpedo and uh, Beauty Swimmer Debra. And they got some pretty good Pokemon. All right, so. Okay, so I came out with my two best Pokemon right here. Two of my best Pokemon. So let's go with Air Cutter and uh, let's go with Earthquake. That's right, it doesn't affect Skyblade. But it affects both of you two. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. And look at that. Oh yeah. Defeated. And, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was quick, I guess. I don't know. Was it quick? There we go. Alrighty. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so we already beat you guys. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, okay, so we're gonna go right here. And, uh, 
Oh, crud. So there's a Pokeball right there. More than likely, I didn't battle the person right here. So I'm going to say take this item out, and I'm going to give that to Beldum because I kind of want to train him up a little. All right, here we go. Give that to Beldum. All righty, let's do this. Okay, and no, there's no Pokemon trainer right here. Okay, all righty. And uh, let's see. We're going to be going straight forward, and... Uh, Alrighty, okay, and, uh, okay, so if I go straight forward right here, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a dead center. Yes, I did. Okay, so now, once you get right here, have a Pokemon that knows Dive, and, uh, everything will, uh, will, will make sense afterwards. As you can see, you're gonna find an extra layer right here, and, uh, you know, this, this actually starts the process of the, uh, Legendary Titans. If you guys recall, we visited three places that look the same, you know, with stones and all that stuff. That actually, you know, has ties to the Legendary Titans. Now, if you read this right here, I think it means go up. I don't know. My big deal is that why would they put Braille? Why Braille? I don't know. Now, one thing that you need to do, and this is a big must, you need to have both a Whale Lord and a Relicanth. That is the reason why we have them here. Now, Relicanth has to be first on your team, and then Whale Lord has to be last on your team. Make sure to have a Pokemon that has Dig, and uh, you'll see what happens right here. Now, this is a big sealed chamber of Brailleness and all that stuff. Now, this right here, I believe it says Dig. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Dig, and uh, as you can see, bam, it opens it up to another chamber right here and this all looks familiar right here now we've seen stones yeah you know in this alignment right here and if you go straight up forward right here and read this okay I may have gotten it wrong holy crap okay I may have gotten it wrong okay so okay so whale lord in the front relicant in the back and if you read this again there we go As you can see, it sounded as if a door opened somewhere far away. That's three doors right there, guys. So, scratch what I said earlier. It's Wailord in the front and Relicanth in the back. And uh, that pretty much, yeah, that pretty much seals it right there, guys. So we're going to get the heck out of here. That's right, get the heck out of here. And uh, we are back underwater right here, and uh, we're just going to get the heck out of here. And, uh, you know, I think a Max Repel, I, I kind of need a Max Repel right here. Alrighty, so let's move on forward with our lives. No, I do not want to go. Let's go back to the beginning. The beginning of time. That is right. That is right. Okay. Let's go. Let's move. Let's do this. America. For America. And uh, there we go. And that is how you do it. Okay, so as you can see, we are back right here, and uh, now, I guess it is finally time to start the whole legendary thing, the thing that I've been dreading the most, but, you know, as you guys already know, I did say that we were going to do, uh, we were going to do something a little bit different, that way, you know, it saves us a lot of time, because trust me guys, capturing these legendary Pokemon, finding a Latios or a Latios is very, very hard. So we're gonna we're gonna change it up just a little bit. So stay tuned guys in the next episode we will find out what exactly it is that we're gonna be doing. See you guys.